Hello everybody and welcome back to more Let's Play Ratchet and Clank. In the last episode, we fought our way through the rest of the Swamp Planet and we got here to the Battle Arena. And in this episode, we're going to battle in said arena. I am... Let the games begin. Right. So, if you've played a lot of the more recent Ratchet and Clank games, this will look very familiar to you. This is where it all started. This was the very first battle arena. And they eventually went on to make an entire game about this, called Ratchet Deadlocked, which was not as bad as people say it is. It was a good game, you shut up. It was a fantastic co-op game, too. Actually, yeah, I don't know why I'm bothering to use the chopper on these guys. Just swat them away. And this is a game... Yeah, in this game, it's emphasized a lot more that you want to run and gun instead of just staying in one place. Yeah, fans. Yeah, flamethrowers in, yeah. Alright, so I'm starting to run out of ammo. Maybe I should grab some. Come on. Where's the ammo? There it is. There it is. Got to grab the ammo. Alright, there we go. Got a decent supply again. I did it. And it just drops from the ceiling. They don't even have like a robot come out and give it to them. So we've earned the electrolyzer. I will continue fighting to earn bolts. Hazard challenge. Watch your steps. See, we want to do all of these. Returning to battle is everyone's favorite gladiator. He slices, he dices, and carves up a main dish. Please welcome Chain Blade. So yeah, he's just gonna kind of chase you around and then swipe at you a little bit. That's Chain Blade's whole shtick. That's all he really does, aside from this. He's a lot like Ivy Valentine, but only slightly less sexy. All right. I wouldn't really bother trying to hit him during that part. Just kind of wait till he gets back on the ground and then do this. Furry, wait, furry guy? Is that what you referred to me as? Anyway, I believe... I forget what it's for. I think it's for taking out the B2 Brawler with nothing but your wrench, but there is an achievement you can get here called Wrench Ninja. Yeah. That was a waste of ammo. You know, this guy really isn't all that threatening. I don't know how nobody except me has beaten him. Especially considering that weapons seem to be kind of everywhere in this galaxy, yet I haven't run across a single drug mart or a grocery store or anything. This is so exciting, and it's a good challenging boss fight. I am being sarcastic. Yes, keep keep screaming at the air. I'm sure it's very afraid of you. I've got my money and the he is dead. I can't believe it. Chain Blade has been defeated. Woohoo! I did. He only drops 15. Winner. You have won 4,000 bolts. All right, let's battle the B2 brawler. B2 brawler is actually a lot harder. Brawler. 
What are you shooting at? Let's see. There we go. Yeah, it's it's this this is when you get the chance to hit him. Oh god. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Ouch. Yeah. Ouch. Come on. Come on, sir. Oh, okay. Alright. Guess we'll you'll lancerize him to death. Oh god. Wait, can I can I hit him like this? Oh yeah, I guess I totally can. Alright. Ouch! Stamp it! Then swatting me with your tentacles. Alright, yeah, no, I've gotta run away. I might actually lose this. It's a very real possibility. Oh god. Run away, run away, run away right now, run away, run away, run away, run no! No, I lost. Well crap. Yeah, sec, let me restock my ammo here. There we go. Alright, let's try again. I didn't realize that I could hit him during this part, but then again, it's all—it's kind of useless considering the fact that I, you know... Eh. I don't know what you're aiming for, but clearly it is not me. Come on. Come on, buddy. I just find it funny that you can actually run fast enough to outrun that. It's really not that helpful. Yeah. 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 Please, no. Please don't destroy me. God, whenever I hear movement from elsewhere in my house, it always makes me nervous. This is so exciting! So excited. I just can't hide it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sure this is getting annoying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Batman, yeah. Okay. For those of you who don't know why I just said Batman, eh. In Batman Forever, there's a guy who, um, like, okay. There's a scene where the Riddler is throwing a ball, and Batman crashes it, of course, because he's Batman, and he can't let the Riddler just have some fun. So, he crashes through the ceiling, and obviously it's supposed to focus on Natalie Portman or whoever that is, but... Uh, there's an itch on my back. But, um... There's a guy standing next to her, and... Really ridiculously nasally, and kind of... It's funny. He, um, he points at the ceiling and goes, Batman! Eh! <laughs> Specifically like that? Uh, just getting careless now. How am I ever going to make it through the rest of the game? This is only part three, John. You're already getting careless. Oh, God. Shooting so much purple at me. It's probably grape-flavored cough syrup. Uh, I don't like grape-flavored anything. Oh, jeez, come on! Oh my god, just... No! No! Don't you do it! Don't you do it! No! Oh, come on! Fine! Alright. That's it. No mercy this time. Ouch. Okay, I'm not doing so hot. Ah, oh, god dang it. Always with always with the feet. Come on! Come on. 
Yes. The P2 crawler is down and out. I was gonna run up and smash it in the brain, but alright. I have won five thousand bolts. All right, yeah, I really, I really just wanted to fight Chain Blade and the uh, the other guy. And you have to come here to get the electrolyzer, so you might as well take on the other ones. All right, so these are kind of all right. So you have to pay attention to which connector is going to get hit by one of these sparks, and you need to make sure that it's facing the right way to accept the spark. It's pretty easy. It's, it's actually my favorite form of puzzles in all of Ratchet and Clank because let's be real most of the puzzles in Ratchet and Clank are not all that fun hey, this would make a nice souvenir for Clank yeah <laughs> hey. lovely oh no you have no idea what you're involved in return to your old galaxy immediately or face Will happen to you. This will happen to you. There we go, that's the right button. Oh no. Um so, aside from the magical photographs that just floated in front of my hand as I was holding them, yet somehow still also behind my hand... Yay! Um, okay, so... That was pretty much the only reason we were actually sent to this planet, but if we go off to the right, there is another thing that we can do, which I would suggest that we do, considering the fact that I want to show everything that's in this game, and we are going to do such things as that, and this, and other thingamabobs, if you catch my drift. If you're, if you catch my cold. Oh no, robotic space chickens. The worst kind. Yep. Nope. You will not munch upon my bunions today. The food chain will remain intact. I mean, Ratchet is a cat of so of sorts, so he would eat chickens. But anyways, I really like the look of this place. It reminds me of Metropolis for some reason, even though it's actually no, it doesn't remind me of the tr Metropolis. It reminds me of Drex Space Station from the first game. And you couldn't go this way until you got this thing. So it's good. That's what you call level progression, kids. That's what you call bad camera angles. Oh, jeez. Oh, these guys. So these guys are completely at the mercy of your tractor beam. <laughs> and then these things are bombs that the tractor beam uses. Okay, I could have sworn that there was a way to shoot those, but I realized that now I'm thinking of the catapult. Dude, why are you, why did you wander in here? Can I make it explode sooner? And I can't even. Okay, all right. Guess I have to take it with me this way. And then, of course, there's a guy right over there on the other side, ready to sucker punch it. Okay, t Inspector Bot, I understand you want to help me with my endeavors, but uh, I don't think you, you would really be of all that much help. Get out of here. With yourself. Okay, alright. So yeah, these things, these are slingshots. Oh god. And I guess, I thought it was, oh, come, dude, why'd you walk off the edge? Get over here. You 
You gotta aim it just right and then let it go. There we go. Anyway, I thought it was that when you turned off the tractor beam, that's when it, um, that's when it launched, but I guess I was wrong. Let's just nuke this whole room right here. There we go. They even seek out boxes, too. I never knew that. Alright, so... Okay. Right, and then there's nothing else. Good, good, good. Yes, exactly as I planned it. How do you plan... That's not the joke. Alright, never mind. I'm not even gonna bother. So... How are you all doing today? I guess I'm just doing fine and dandy. I've been sick for the last couple of days, and so my voice was not really the best. Come on, buddy. Let's get across. Get across. Don't fall into the Listerine. Yeah. And here we are on the other side of this wall. That we were once on the other side of. Because that's how walls work. Alright. And I apologize if they're... Like, if me, um just kind of running around destroying boxes gets a little cumbersome but you got to you got to destroy all the boxes aim for the thing aim for this thing there we go jeez all right so for this you got to you got a slingshot you got to destroy all these old things and i missed there we go Oh, come on, guy. Let's get all the way. There we go. Let's go all the way tonight. No regrets, just love. Let's line up the shot. And, oh, he misses with a big whiff. There we go. Now he's right on the money. That stroke will cost him in the later rounds. Let's see. And there we go. Things are done. Sabotage the Thugs for Less Jamming Array, which we go and we do by going in a ridiculously fast limo to space. Aw oh, man, son. So, this will also look pretty... Ah, oh, crap. No, get off the thing. Ah. Question, why does Gadgetron have a guide on this? The exposed rods to destroy got it. Got a game. Thank you. So yeah, if you've played uh, Crack in Time, this will also look very familiar. Also, eat your heart out, Mario Galaxy. This game did it like three years before you did. So I think this game was made in 2004. But I could be wrong. Hey! Get out of here. For a map, press select. Shut up, I don't care. You can also stand on top of them, which I find funny. You know, because you don't die of radiation poisoning, I guess. But I... There is not much to do, but there is things as well as stuff to do. I don't know. Um, did I have a story that I was gonna gonna tell? Oh yeah, I did. Okay, so I've been sick for the last couple of days, and um, at rehearsal, I went like okay. They basically they basically asked me to. Well, they didn't ask me. I volunteered to do it, but I sat like at the front, away from everybody else, to make sure that they wouldn't get sick. And I went to the side of the stage and grabbed the box of tissues that we keep there. As well as a trash can. You know, just because it would get tiresome having to get up and then walk to the trash can every time I blew my nose. And at this point, I was like really, still really, really sick. Like, ugh. <laughs> like, I, 
you know, sneezing all the freaking time, blowing my nose every five seconds. It was bad. And I'm still kind of kind of stuffed up right now, but I can talk now. I was able to sing for like, you know, half an hour earlier today, which is definitely not a whole lot of staying power. So my voice is not as good as it once was, and I need to I need to let my voice recover. Which, in all honesty, if I'm supposed to be like doing vocal rest, why am I recording this let's play? I don't know. I don't play by your rules, man. You can't buy me a hot dog, man. I'm sorry, I'm stupid. Anyway, more robotic evil space chickens, I guess. Robot chicken. Am I the only one who was always kind of put off by that show? Like, Robot Chicken was always a very strange and not in a good way sort of show. It was like Uncanny Valley. I just didn't like it. Maybe it was because the first time I watched it, I was like seven. And, you know, the, the opening intro, I think, gave me nightmares. Where is the last transponder array thing? Where are you? Where are you? Smithers, bring the car around. Oh, it's over there. I see now. I can see clearly now. The rain is gone. Right, so there it is. So we need to get up there. So how do we do that? Find out next time. No, never mind. I would never do that to you, my lovelies. I love you. Please don't leave. Anyway. Here. See, things to talk about, things to say. What should I do? Should I stay or should I go now? I don't know. Episode's almost over, so... We're almost done with the moon size jamming array, I assure you, friends. Sphere disabled. Mission complete. You know, the sphere has a name. What? Is it dangerous? No, no, no. Uh, well, uh, actually, yes, it is. Good. Take a <laughs> <laughs> ratchet, you rogue. You always knew how to melt my heart. The sun on your skin, the bugs in your teeth. We are the Desert Riders. Before I became a Desert Rider, I didn't fit in anywhere. I had low self-esteem, bad breath, and thing for ladies' undergarments. <laughs> but these guys understand me. They really do. Right. Yeah, for the big sales. <clears throat> oh yeah, yeah. I also make these cute gloves for all the guys. So if you got what it takes, use this temporary membership to enter the most grueling hoverbike race in the galaxy. Win it and become one of us. Desert Riders, the number one leisure choice of thugs for less. Why do all of these organizations in the galaxy have like infomercials if they're criminals? <laughs> As soon as you get more indignation. This widget out. Right. Well, that's going to be just about it for this episode of Ratchet and Clank. Go on Commando 2. Locked and loaded. Next time, we're going to go enter the hoverbike race, I think. I don't think there's anything else for us to do. I believe that is it. Get out of here. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I'm going to murder this guy. Bye-bye.